A centrifugal governor is a device used for controlling the speed at which a machine operates by regulating the admission of working fluid. Invented by James Watt in 1788, the governor became a fundamental component in many of the machines that drove the Industrial Revolution. Most commonly fitted on steam engines, power is supplied to the governor via a belt and flywheel connection with the engine's output shaft causing the governor to spin as the engine runs. The governor operates the throttle valve, supplying steam to the cylinders. As it spins with greater speed, the centrifugal force acting on the flyballs causes them to move outwards and upwards against gravity, pulling the lever arms with them. As the lever arms flex, they pull down on a vertical shaft lowering it into the throttle valve and reducing the gap through which the steam is fed. If the governor spins fast enough, the shaft cuts off the steam intake completely. The utilization of a governor became crucial in the operation of large engines and machinery during the Industrial Revolution and long since. If an engine is allowed to run too vigorously, it runs the risk of shaking itself apart. Furthermore, in large factories where a multitude of identical machines were configured to run off of a single engine, as the power looms in a textile mill, a constant, steady, and stable speed had to be maintained at all times, or the work produced would be irregular. There are numerous examples of centrifugal governors to be found in the museum, designed to be fitted to steam engines and water turbines. Though differing in size and complexity, each one is an equally crucial component of its machine.